Two Minute Farmer here. I'm going to show you everything I carry in my DeWalt Grease Gun case and tips and tricks to run it. So here we go. Number one, carry latex gloves so my hands don't get nasty, greasy, poopy. Grease is not man lotion. Number two, paper towels to clean off other things that get poopy nasty. Carry spare battery. This is a lock and lube adapter set with a bunch of different style adapters like a 90 to get those hard to reach zerks. I also put in uh, spare grease gun tips in case I blow it up. Things that I wish were more like the Milwaukee that DeWalt should consider. Having a pump counter, like set it to five pumps and just pull the trigger and it'll stop. Also wish you could lock the trigger on like the Milwaukee so that if you have a bunch of pumps to do, uh, your hands don't get so tired, you just pull the trigger and lock it on. Okay, tips and tricks. If you're pooping grease out of this little black spot, that means you got back pressure from the Zerk and uh, you need to clear that problem. You can hear it pop when it does that. Uh, when you change the cartridge here, make sure and unscrew this part. Don't unscrew the end cap that holds the spring and everything or else you'll have a mess. Uh, the threads you're threading into are clear up in there. So unscrew from here. On the plunger, the plunger indicates how much of the tube is left. So if it's in right here, that's not very much left. Out far there's more. Sometimes it's marked quarter tube, half tube, so you know. And if you get an airlock, you can turn this till it catches and then you push manually with your hand on the plunger while pulling the trigger and you can force that air pocket out. Make your life a lot better. On the hose and tip, make sure you get a tip that's rated for your pressures. I've blown out the jaws before when I get back pressure. Also, you can unscrew this black part from the silver part to loosen your jaws. So if you're having a hard time getting on and off zerks, that'll help you. Uh, down here lower is where you change the actual whole tip. That's everything you need to know about the grease gun.